What's going on everybody? Just James Fitness here. Welcome back to episode two of Preparing for College Across. Today is a must wanted topic from all you guys. We're gonna be covering how I got recruited and then we're gonna be showing a leg routine as well as some footwork that you guys can do. You guys commented a whole bunch of my last one asking for this video, so I figured I'd do it for you guys. So I just got a little bit of notes and I wanna make sure I don't miss out on anything. And this is my recruiting story. Before I start, I'd really appreciate if you guys comment down below what college you guys wanna to go to or play at and also give the video a thumbs up. It helps a lot and I really appreciate it. So to begin, we're gonna take this back all the way to going into freshman year in that summer. Different than it is now, this is when early recruiting was in full effect and it was really exploding and all the top 20 schools were filling up like crazy. Unfortunately, I was injured so I was not able to get recruited the summer going into high school as many others were, but even though that happened, I still was able to fill my dream of committing to a Division I school. So moving on to the fall. This was my freshman year, everything was new and I was really worried just about getting recruited. It was my main goal and I wasn't focused on anything else besides schoolwork and getting recruited. And as for you guys, I think that should be your goals too. I was missing out on a lot of things to be honest. I was missing homecoming, I was missing weekend football games with my friends, I was missing out just hanging out with my friends. I was going to tournaments and showcases every single week and I thank my father for pushing me to do that because if I didn't do that I would not be in the position as I am today. Now you see there's a lot of sacrifices that come with doing this and trying to get recruited but it is well worth it so just stick to it and work hard. And I can promise you it will pay off. So moving on into the winter of freshman year this is when a lot of prospect days were happening and I was going to all different ones. Southern, Northern, you could name it. I was going to so many. And this is really important because prospect days are where coaches can literally just watch 100 people. And if you stick out, you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb and it's gonna be for a good reason. And that's gonna be because you played well. I know that's how Stelios got committed. That's how I got committed. So you gotta make sure you're going to prospect days. They're very important and I really recommend them. So over the course of the fall and the winter, I put together a highlight tape. By, by the time spring came along my freshman year, I was able to put together a whole bunch of highlights and send them off to coaches letting them know when my spring games were when I was gonna be playing and where that way they can come watch me if they're interested and luckily that happened with a few colleges that I ended up getting offers from so in my opinion make sure you make some highlight tapes and send them out to coaches telling them that you're interested in their academics and that you're interested in their athletics and how you would fit their school and also just give them your highlights and make sure another thing that you do when you make your highlight tape is put all the best stuff in the beginning your highlight tape should be three minutes to four minutes max nothing more all your good stuff in and that's it. College coaches, they're probably gonna watch a minute of it and that's how they're gonna tell if they wanna keep watching or not. So short and sweet and to the point is the best. I'm gonna link down below the highlight tapes that I made so if you guys need any helps kind of mimicking what to do, link is in the description of the highlight tapes that I use to send out for college coaches. So make sure you check them out. So when spring lacrosse came to an end, I was going on some college visits and I was talking on the phone with a lot of coaches. At this time of the recruiting game, I was only able to call them, so I'd constantly be calling them, letting them know I was still interested and I still wanted to go to their school. So definitely keep up and talk to them. Don't annoy them, don't do it, don't be, don't be over aggressive, but definitely keep them in the loop of what's going on with your career and how you want to go to their school. Like I said, some coaches came to my spring lacrosse games and that's also really important because that shows that they really do care. So if coaches are coming to your game, make sure you're putting in time to reach out to them, send them more of your highlights and updates of your stats because if they're driving up to your game they clearly are there for a reason um, and just just play your game and do your best all they want to see is you do hard work and consistency if you can put those two things together they're gonna be happy about it now I'm no recruiting expert or any of this but this is just my experience and what I have found to kind of help me through the way and I would like to pass that knowledge to you guys so I don't need anyone commenting saying oh you're not some recruiting expert I'm not I'm just some kid that got recruited and I'm just gonna let you know how I did it. After spring lacrosse, I immediately, right after, not even a week, I went into Under Armour All-American Underclass game tryouts. Ugh. Really though, the tryout, you think it's just a tryout for a team, but it's actually just like a showcase. There's, I played six games in one day if you made it to the final 44 game, which I was lucky enough to do. So I made it all the way through. College coaches got to see me play six games. It was amazing exposure. I would say that there was probably 50 or more college coaches. We're gonna wait for that plane to go by. So if you guys can try out for the Under Armour Underclass games, definitely do so. Some coaches were still happy with the way I played and they reached out to me. So after that, the rest was history and I was officially verbally committed, which I couldn't be happier about. So just some things that you should look out for when looking for showcases. I definitely recommend the UA underclass tryouts. I went to a prep school showcase and a Jake Reed blue chip. Those are all great things that you can go to to get seen. A lot of college coaches go there. So check them out, apply for them. So pretty much last thing I wanna say is just thank you for everyone supporting me. Thank you for coaches, players, teammates, family members, friends. Um, just thank you for everyone for the opportunity that I'm going to be playing college across because I could not be happier with the position I'm in. Um, I'm extremely grateful 
and I just hope you guys can go through this too and enjoy it as much as I did. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below what your guys' goals are, where you want to go to school, and give this video a thumbs up. Um, I really hope this helps you guys. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. We got a leg routine and some footwork and explosivity work. So if you want to be a better athlete, take some notes. It's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm no professional, but I hope I can help you guys just a little bit every day. So let's get to it. Whoa, holy crap. Yeah. That is bright. All right, let there be light. <laughs> All right guys, let's go get into this cardio portion of this video. Sit back, relax, and take some notes. It's getting real. Footwork is my weakest point, and this needs a lot of work. Big not heaven, my money stacking. This is traffic. This for all my the ones that be trafficking. All my diamonds African. I might go in bad the best. I already had that. Went and got a battle. Persian rock a Latin. That's for like a Latin. I can serve you. Hey, let me sit on time. Hey, turn around, baby girl. Let me serve you. Whoa. Yeah, they say that you wet like squirtle. Yeah. Walk around, pigeon toe, got the bear flu. And you think you in love, don't want hurt you. Man, I think that I'm done, gotta swerve you. Whoa. Sauce it down, sauce it up. Do too yeah. much, shit too much. Ain't enough, ain't enough, ain't enough. Ain't enough. Ain't enough. Where you from? Where you from? Throw it out, first of all. Go and all right, guys, that's going to wrap up episode two of preparing for college across. Make sure you guys drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. You know what's up. Next week, episode three, we're going to do a little bit more conditioning and some distance and speed work. Today was mostly made up of footwork. I can't even talk. Today's workout was a lot of footwork and overall explosive work. Uh, those are my weak points. So don't forget to work on your weak points. If you guys have any suggestions of what future videos should have in them, comment down below. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, going up, oh, going nuts, oh, going down, down, down.